John Paper A in the one of separate love. Each your servants. Adiela and Olan Rivaju, who are to be united in the covenant of marriage. So that as you make their love fruitful, they will come by your grace, witnesses to charity itself. Throughout Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the beauty of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading is from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. Who we'll make him a secret companion to help him? Then the Lord made the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the flesh. He found the woman out of the reed and brought her to him. Then the man said, At last, here is one of my own kind. Bone taken from my bone and flesh from my flesh. Woman is her name because she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united with his wife and they become one. The word of the Lord. Instead of 
There are six things and not eight. The car, the, the light on, hands with your innocent woman, the prayer card, things which speak to us evil. Are you going to build your marriage and tell lies to one another? You gossip one another, destroy one another with your parents or to your friends, that kind of marriage you won't finish. The man or the woman who discusses his or let's say the discussion like outside your home is very mature. And I know at times there are some men. Not all, and so many who find significant to say, I am sorry. When you say, I am sorry, have a my fault. And the saliva in your mouth will not finish. And what happens? You say you are right. You should say, I am right. So who is wrong? Your body. And what happens? Enemies. The same house, in the same, on the same day, you do speak the same way. And you come to the church, Jesus, I love you. You don't even love yourself. You are not in love, so you can't say you love Jesus. And the marriage that is built on God and victory, maybe you begin to see, go to our prophets and so forth, the Lord revealed to you something about my house or about anything to be your family. I was saying, God, can I already do something to you? Then you must be careful when you go to come to the tabernacle and talk to Jesus. Not to jump from one prayer house to another. Let me tell you the short story. 2016, there was a wedding somewhere in one part of the world. Like three months from how to go to high distance. So then a group of people went to the mountain to pray. And why did they pray? Two persons say, Oh, we're going to them, they're here and there. That this woman, because she wants to go for this service, she's not ready to get pregnant. This is all the mountain. They were praying, say, God, the dream to me that you don't want to get pregnant. At that point, she was crying, and she called me. But you know what I say at times, you must be careful where you go to. She was already pregnant two months. So which call did she give to you on this one? She was going to be pregnant. And another part of marriage that you must be conscious is testing the family. You are married. You are friends. What kind of friend are you looking? Is it a friend that introduced what I can to you? Are you looking women or girls that will introduce all that boss to you? The real call is the way to go. And the way to go. Now, Remember today that a family, where there is no love, there is no love. And in fact, where there is no love, there is no love. He chose the son of his territory. He said, I want to have my head to be in this church that he made his way, but I want you to choose that. So if you want to stop, to remain in your home, you have to choose that. And if you have this God, that means God is in your home and your family and your heart. He therefore means you have inner peace. Because the scripture says in the book of if you don't have this peace, whatever it will cost you, run and pass it, that you learn the peace in your home. For me, the only language God understands in this life is the language of God. Are you ready? 
so bring God into your home. Who she saw? So you choose. Are you in love with one another? Or will you only love the spouse? There are times you are not ready to sacrifice some certain things and some you are ready to sacrifice. Am I going to say yes for this you? No, I don't want to do this you. This is how my parents are doing it. No, you have to learn to accommodate one another. Whatever you eat in this life is what you become. And that is what the children will become. Do you want to love? And love the spirit of love or to possess your heart and your home. They will choose to possess the same love of God. Do you want forgiveness? The same spirit allowing to live in your heart and your family. The same thing will come to us. But when you get married, what do you do? You are very stupid, you are mad, God will punish you. How can you use the same man to say, I love you, or I am in love with you? The same man, after two years, you begin to insult and bring costs and appease yourself. Such marriage, they will never be loved. They can be loved themselves. That's why I was asking you, are you in love with one another, or are you in love with yourself? A marriage that is beautiful. You only really love yourself. No matter that you are suspecting one another, who is calling you and who is not calling you. If you don't trust yourself, you don't love yourself. One thing is to pray to God, another thing is to believe in Him. Not to believe, but you believe in Him. Is it the family that you will? Every morning, every evening. Money is good, but it's not all. You have to learn to give attention to one another. Your wife, she is not your sleep. Let me spell it. You have to also learn to enter the kitchen and the wash plate. And this is not true. Why is your name you say you belong to the kitchen? You have to help to do some certain things at home. The man told me he is the emperor of the house. Yes, you are the emperor of the house. But you are not able to manage that home for two years. And the family was happy. No, is the foundation of marriage. But if you fail to go, then it's a problem. Marriage is not built on abuse. You abuse. You know what I mean when I say you abuse yourself? I'm not talking about being set apart. Your wife, she is not your sleep. Let me say You have to also learn to enter the kitchen and wash it. And this is not true. When some men will say you belong to the kitchen, you have to help to do some certain things at home. A man told me. Emperor of the house. Yes, you are the emperor of the house. But you are not able to manage that home for two years. And the family was happy. No, is the foundation of marriage. But if you fail to go, then it's a problem. Marriage is not built on abuse. You have abuse. You know what I mean when I say you abuse yourself? I'm not talking about being set apart. No. There is nothing like perfect marriage. And you know, there 
the Lord is each other 
and joy in their children. We pray, O oh Lord. Lord Let us pray for those preparing for marriage and for those called to their various vocations, that the good God will strengthen the genuineness of their mission. We pray, O oh Lord. Lord Let us pray for all gathered here today, that God, who really loves each of us, may help us to understand that when we love one another, we are in God's love. We pray, O oh Lord. Lord Let us pray for the families brought together by marriage. May all of us, and particularly the families of Allah Raju and Adiola, increase in affection for one another, finding one another a source of help and strength. We pray, O oh Lord. Let us pray for families, friends, and well wishers of Allah Raju and Adiola, who have traveled from far and yet to witness this marriage and especially for those who have had some part in these happy days. May God bless their good intention and give them his undying friendship as well as journey messages back to their respective destinations. We pray, O oh Lord. In silence, let us offer our personal intentions to God our loving Father.
is origin, may your problems and life is false. So Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, my thanks and Lord. For you are called the covenant of marriage, as a sweet yoke of harmony, and unbreakable bond of peace. So that the chaste and fruitful law of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O oh Lord, you have accomplished the, wonder, the wonders of this twofold design that acquire the best of children, brings beauty to the world, they are reversed in baptism to give increase to the church to Christ our Lord. Through him, please the fingers and all the saints to say the name of your praise, as without end, we have way. Hold on. 